It would depend on so many things. Did I have children to protect? And I, if I was scared that, you know, if, if they caught me, we would kill my children. If it was just me on the line, maybe if it was just me on the line, I might have been able to be stronger and, and do something. But, um, you know, it's, it's a too hypothetical question. Okay, so let me tweak the question. What would have been the circumstances in which you would have helped hide or in some other way Jews in Nazi Germany? Right. What would have to be the situation that you were in personally to get to that I think if I, was, if I was a single person, if I was a man, and if I was in some kind of power, I would have done my very best to, to do what was, what was obviously right. You know, I'm sure I would have had the right kind of mind, the same mind as I have, to know that what they were doing was obviously wrong. Mm -hmm. um, I think the problem is I'm politically non-active, and I'm mm -hmm. scared that I would have been politically non-active then. So I, I think I might have to say that I, if I. You know, I'm not sure who I would have been. So it's too hypothetical, this question, but I might have been just like I am now and not wanted to be bothered with the politics. I might have just closed my eyes to it. Really, it's too hypothetical. Too hypothetical. I mean, we all know the right answer here, you know. I don't. I really don't. You know, I cannot feel... I cannot be well, let's angry at Germans in a serious manner without... I, I cannot. I don't think that... I think that even Germans today, they, they of course, they have to understand history and everything, but I think, and I think they do, at least my generation in a way. I think that if most people in the world would have been in that situation, most people in the world would have reacted in the same way for various reasons, but I... Uh, I think, to be honest, I'm not politically active, and therefore I don't think I'd have been able to make much of a stand. If I'd have been very rich, I'd probably have had the possibility I probably would have done something, put people in a cellar or something. Uh, not sure even what my motives would have been, you know, but... You have to be someone who cares a lot mm -hmm. about the world being right. And I'm not sure that I've ever cared enough. Well, there is a reason that we call them in Judaism, uh, I'm not sure how, it's like world righteous something, I yeah. don't know how to... Uh... The righteous amongst the nations. Yeah. Because I'm, I, what I try to do is equate with some of the things that are going on today. And I sit here and I allow those to happen. Like what? Syria? Rwanda, Syria, Kurdistan. Yeah, but you're not a citizen of these states. It's completely different. The question is if you were an, a citizen of Nazi oh, Germany. Okay, okay. It's it's entirely different situation. I have, I have a kind of fear deep down, and I don't really want this to be on camera, but I have a fear deep down that if I'd have lived in South Africa and I was white and there was apartheid, I would not have minded. Really? I have a fear of that. I know that, I, and this I know a hundred percent to be true, I would have, I, I would probably be one of the active ones in that city. In Nazi Germany, I'm not sure, I think I would have been too afraid. Um, in, in See, South now Africa. fear was not part of the equation here. Hmm. I would have, might, might have been fearful for my family, but actually I, my equation had nothing to do with fear. Okay.